Yeah, righto. Um, just falling on from the last one. Roof lining is out. All the bolts are out. Um, roof's ready to come off. Um, yeah, before you get too aggro, pulling that last um, lining out. And you wonder how did they ever do that? There's two bolts that pick up the safari roof um, cover that come through uh, right at the back there up in the corner. Um, <laughs> there. Yeah, don't, don't get all He-Man because uh, yeah, you'll wreck it. And they're pretty hard to to um, identify when you're up there you know, with a bit of a sweat going on and a bit of rage starting to set in. But um, yeah, that's out. Roof's ready to come off. I've, um, I've got the windscreen out. This is probably where you, you start, um, your project starts getting longer based on um, the ex it's probably where a lot of your water or most of your water gets in um, through through this area the top of the door and and down at your window seal um, you where your window seals on your bulkhead so um, yeah pretty sure everyone's got the usual amount of crap in there um, we've got a plastic fork, I've seen a couple of 22 caliber shells and probably the biggest thing that does the most damage is um, that rust, well it's not, that's, it's just rusty crap but I think what starts it off in there is when you drop, um, drop nuts and screws down the front there and they get a bit wet and then they start rusting out. So I've found a lot of rusty um, nuts and bolts in there. But apart from that, I mean, I haven't dug too deep, but looks pretty good. I knew I had a little bit of, I sensed I had a bit of rust um, under the, the, um, the seal here. So I've, I have ta I tapped that um, a bit, and it's pretty solid. Um, but yeah, once I, once I, oh, <laughs> I reckon that's in pretty good nick. I've seen some howlers on uh, other blokes, but yeah, um, yeah, I reckon. I don't know. It's weird because the other side is exactly the same. It started underneath that um, that rubber there. But yeah, looking down there, here, um, that's probably a little bit, but all in all, it's um, yeah, pretty solid. I've got a bit in the dumb ones here, those crush tubes um, were gone when I pulled the uh, bull bar off, but yeah, I'll be able to cut them out and put some new crush tubes in pretty easily. So basically, the other side, um, yeah, so this, this one here was the one that came out. The other side, it snapped off, but yeah, again, you can see that, um, a bit more rust. Same spot, just underneath the rubber. So, yeah, weird spot, but you look at that, all the way through there, I'm pretty happy with that. I might... You know, I could even reuse that that rubber strip because it's it's in good nick. Um, just undid all the bolts for the top of the dash. Um, removed the windscreen wiper motor um, cover. Yeah, and that cover down here on the bottom there was there's a bit of rust sitting in that that little cowling. So um, yeah, we'll look at. Um, replacing that I might I might do that in stainless actually 
But yeah, all in all, um, yeah, next little bit is to pull the um, roof off, but I'll do that. I'll try and make that as easy as possibly can. Um, I've got a little, I've got a little um, procedure I want to put into action for that, just to make it a bit more easy without dropping it and putting more dents in it. But um, yeah, so windscreen's over in the um, storage area. It's all galvanised. I'll clean all that um, that crap out there. But yeah, um, the, the dash probably the next bit that comes out, um, and then the, the ventilation flaps in there and I know I've got a couple of teeth on um, on my vent flap um, what would you call it um, mechanism I think it's on the um, the driver's side one one of the the teeth the little teeth in there is stripped and doesn't close properly so I might um, I think it'll be a bit much to try and weld it and file it back because I've got another lot on the other ute so I might might see if I can pull that one off but anyway that's that's a bit of a, a progress um, shot there yeah bonnet will come off and um, yeah these are t probably one of the hardest ones to do so far is this um, the gusset um, that holds the the door pillar on it, it does look like it finishes here and it's a plate but it, I don't know if it's glued together or whatever but there's these bolts down here but they're not mine aren't capsulated inside so the, <laughs> there's a hole in here to try and get something all the way down to hold them. And then there's a hole, um, there's a little hole um, underneath, so yeah, you might need a, a specialized tool because they're just spinning now. I mean, they're all, they're all undone across. It's just those, I think I've got one, yeah, there's four bolts. I've got one out on the other side and, and another one here, but they're all spinning. And I did try and um, yeah, break that, but I haven't um, had much success. But now that I've loosened them, I'll, probably, I'll have to take them out anyway because I'm going to have to get something in there to tighten them up. But anyway, that, that there, here, and... The little seat box bracket in there, as you can see, that was that was the one I cut off with the oxy. And that one sheared off because that's encapsulated nut on the back, and that one snapped off the back. So I cut it. I'll probably be able to drill that, but I would have thought that the four on the other side would be the same as that, but they're not. But anyway. Yeah, I found just this this piece here is can give you a few dramas there, just with access and you know I guess the way it was designed. But that's my feeling. Um, everyone's entitled to their opinion, so um, just take it easy. Righto, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, see you on the next one maybe. Thank you. A long time ago.